making homemade fresh bread. And why am I making homemade fresh bread? Because I don't want to be going outside. I don't want to go to ShopRite or whatever your local store is to go get bread just because that's what I'm missing, fresh bread. So it's really easy and you only need four ingredients. Hopefully you have it and if you don't have it, try to order them online and if don't, when you go to for that weekly or bi-weekly big um, purchase at your grocery store, just try to get salt, yeast, and all-purpose flour. And the fourth ingredient, it's warm water. So let's get started. Here you have six cups of flour, just like this. You want to make a hole in the middle and you want to add two teaspoons of quick rice. One, two, in the middle. You want to make sure you have warm water. So I'm going to put warm water. Uh, the warm water will activate the yeast. And I only put the salt at the end so the, e the salt doesn't kill the yeast. So I put two cups of warm water, around two cups of warm water, and now what I'm going to be doing, let me see if I can, and now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to move them around a little bit, and I'm going to actually put the salt on a corner, and that's going to be the last corner that I'm going to move, and I'm going to put uh, four teaspoons of salt. So now that the yeast is already activating, I'm going to go ahead and start moving it around. And remember, the salt is on the side and we are not touching the salt. You saw me putting um, four cups of warm water, but these are half cups. So I put four of half cups. So that's two full cups and we start moving it around. Again, it's very important for you to analyze the texture of your flour and see if it needs more water, if not, and you will see how it looks. So right now I can see that I'm going to need a little bit more water because when I'm kneading it, I still have a lot of flour and it's not And I need it to be more um, moldable in my fingers. So I'm putting an extra cup of water. The goal is for it not to be sticky, but also not to be dry. to put some flour in my counter. And then I'm going to take out this from my hands. And make sure I'm kneading it always like this. You don't want the the dough to be dry, but you want to be able to knead it for a few minutes.
to do the movement of flip, flop, flop, and flip because that makes sure that the air is getting in the bread so it will rise properly. And you always want to do a ball just like this. And you wrap it. If you want to, you can pick something up here. Now we're going to put flour in our bowl. We're going to put a clean towel, dry towel, on top. And we're going to store it in a dry, dark place. It has to be dark and it has to be dry. Otherwise, the yeast and the, uh, won't, the, the bread won't rise. So my trick, I like to put it inside of the oven, dark. The oven is not on. And it'll stay like that for around an hour and a half, two hours, or until it doubles its size. And then you have a choice of putting it in the refrigerator and making it the day after, up to 12 hours or 16 hours in the refrigerator, but you have to remove it and let it come to room temperature if you're gonna put it in the refrigerator. But remember, the refrigerator only after it rises, otherwise the yeast won't rise. But since I want to make the bread today, it's going to be around two hours rising uh, in a dark place. Okay, so two hours has gone by and I have ready a, a baking pan just like this. Uh, this is a Cathlon 12 by 17. You can use any tray that you have. So I'm just going to um, have some flour. Put some flour on top, just like so. I'm just going to put it right here. Let's go check how our bread is. Okay. Let's see how much it rose. Okay, so clearly it doubled its size, okay? So we're gonna need some flour on the counter. <coughs> Make sure your hands are sanitized. And now what we're going to do is get the bread out of here, set the bowl aside, and we're gonna take the air out, just like so. And then, you can choose how many balls or bread do you want. I just want, and then you start kneading it again. I just want, you see how fluffy it is? That's how you want your bread. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a, a knead again. I wanted more of like a slightly bigger loaf, not a round loaf, so I have it overly. And it's so soft. So that's how you want your bread to be. So now I'm going to put it right here. Like this, so it's long. And I'm going to get a sharp knife and I'm going to do three cuts. Now I'm going to spray a little bit more flour on top. So, 
So like that, you get that rustic homemade bread. And I'm going to cover it again. So it looks like this. And I'm going to cover it again for around an hour, another hour and a half. So we're going to put the oven at 392 or 395. And here's how it the, the bread rolls pretty much a good amount. There it is, you can see it better. So it's supposed to be double the size and very, very fluffy. Now it goes to the oven at 395 for about 50 to 50 minutes to an hour and all done. Okay, an hour and five minutes has passed and I'm going to take out the bread from the oven. Let me show you. Careful, it's hot. I'm gonna place it up here. All right, so I have placed the bread baked up here and I covered it with a damp towel. The reason why I covered it with a damp towel is so the outside of the bread doesn't stay very hard and it's just for five, six minutes. So it's, the top just gets soft and we are able to cut it in just a few minutes. So this is your bread. It's still steaming hot. I don't like my bread very burned at the outside, but if you prefer it to be more of on a, a, a more darker color, then just leave it in the oven for a little bit more. If you want to make sure if your bread is already baked, you just grab it down here and listen to this. You hear that? Uh, so that means the bread is fully cooked. So let's see, it's gonna be very hot. So I'm gonna cut it with this. Maybe I should be cutting it with the bread knife, but whew, it's so hot. Can you see the steam coming out? And again, you, you can wait. Look at this bread, fluffy, delicious. If you like fluffy, fresh made bread, go ahead uh, and follow this recipe. Wait, so you thought I was just going to leave without having a bite in front of you? No, if I don't have that bite with a little bit of butter that melted, Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You see that? Just perfect. So, if you like bread like I do, go ahead and make this recipe. Bye.